Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today in the shop, I've got a couple Jeeps here set up with bike racks, bike racks, and you guessed it, more bike racks. That's right, today we are gonna be talking about all of the different types of bike racks available for every Jeep Wrangler out there, no matter how you may have your specific Jeep set up. And we're also gonna be talking about some of the things that may make a different bike rack work better for your lifestyle and how often you like to bring your bike along with you on your Jeep. Now we went ahead and we broke down all of the different types of bike racks available into three major categories. And basically what you're gonna find on the market are going to be roof rack type mounting systems for your bike, followed by hitch mounted bike carrying systems. And finally our third category here of a spare tire mounted bike racks. And today I'm gonna to hopefully help you make a more informed and better decision when it comes time to purchase a bike rack to put on your Jeep Wrangler. Now, speaking of that, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com to shop not only the bike racks we have set up here, but our entire line of bike racks that we have available to fit every Jeep vehicle. So why don't we go ahead and get started by taking a look at roof rack type bike racks. So as you can see, for our roof mounted bike rack here, we have it set up on top of our hardtop on our 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL Rubicon. Now there are some requirements that your Jeep will need to meet before you can start throwing a roof type bike rack onto it. If you happen to have a soft top Wrangler, well you're going to need a roof rack that's designed to work with a soft rack. If you have a hard top, well you're going to need a base system that's designed to work with the hard top to allow you to mount cross rails. So as you can see here, we're using the Mopar OE by Thule cross rail system that actually mounts in the rain gutters of our Jeep Wrangler JL hardtop, which means it doesn't require any modifications to be done permanently to the hardtop. We can simply install the cross rails easily and then we can remove them later when we're done using them. Now, if you happen to have a little bit older Jeep Wrangler JK or even an older Jeep TJ, well, you may need to permanently modify your hardtop by drilling through it to mount crossbars on your hardtop. So that is just something to be concerned with. Are you okay with modifying a very expensive part of your Jeep? Now, whether you have a hard top or soft top, once you have a cargo rack installed and you're at the point where you've got cross rails installed, then you can start adding accessories to carry your bike. So as you can see again, right here, we're using the Mopar by Thule upright bike mount mounted on our crossbars here. Now the nice thing about an upright style bike rack here is you can see we don't have to take the wheels off of our bike to put it on the rack. It's actually holding the bike securely by the frame. It's a great strong point to hold your bike from and then we simply have some straps here to lock in the wheels in the rack. Now there's some other trays available as well that will lock in your bike from the front forks. Now that means you're going to be taking your front tire on and off every time you're loading and unloading your bike. And that's just something to be aware of with a different style of rooftop mounted bike rack. Now, one of the biggest things to be aware of with using this style bike rack on a Wrangler is of course the height. Where roof style bike racks are great for lower cars and sedans, putting them up on an SUV or a Wrangler may start to become a little difficult when it comes time to load and unload your bike. I will say I am six feet tall this is a off the lot Rubicon with 33 inch tires and a non-modified suspension. And putting the bike up here and getting it back down is a bit cumbersome. Now, of course, you're probably not taking a step ladder with you out to the park or out to the trails where you're gonna be riding your bike. So that's something to be concerned about, especially if you're a little bit shorter, it may start to become very challenging to get your bike on and off of your Jeep. Now, one of the other things to be concerned with is the overall height now. So we have the height of the Wrangler, we also have the overall height with our bike mounted. So if you're simply headed down the road, you're probably gonna be okay. If you're gonna be headed through any drive-throughs or low hanging overhangs, well, you wanna be sure to remember that you've got your bike on top of your Wrangler. If you happen to be headed on an off-road adventure, well, that could pose a problem with low hanging tree limbs and such that you may encounter. So that's one thing to be aware of. Now, some of the other advantages that a roof mount type system can offer is that in addition to carrying a bike, well, you can also mount additional accessories, things to carry skis, snowboards, canoes, and kayaks. You can mount a roof basket to carry extra gear or luggage. 
and these even come in handy when it's time to head down to the local home store to pick up some lumber. So they do give you a lot of flexibility there in just what you can carry. But it's definitely a great option for loading a bunch of bikes there. If you're somebody who's going to be loading your bike on and off of your Jeep, a lot of times, either over the course of a month or even maybe multiple times over the course of a week, you may want to look at something that's a little easier to load and unload. And we can take a look at our hitch rack system to check that out. So moving on to our second style of bike rack for our Wrangler here, we have our hitch mounted style bike rack. Now, just like whereas our roof style bike rack had a few requirements out of our Wrangler, using a hitch style rack, of course, is going to have one big requirement. You will need to have a hitch on the back of your Jeep. Now, there are plenty of hitches available out there on the market that you can install. In fact, some aftermarket bumpers even already have a hitch built into them. So you've got a lot of different options out there. Once you have the hitch on the back of your Jeep, you're basically ready to use a hitch mounted bike rack. Now a hitch rack offers a lot of advantages. As you can see, it puts our bike rack at a very comfortable level for both loading and unloading our bike. It's also a very strong and sturdy mounting solution for carrying bikes. As you can see, we've got our Quadratech Premium 4 bike carrying bike rack mounted in the hitch here. So we can not only bring along our bike, but we can bring along the entire family or our friends bikes on our next outdoor adventure as well. And that's a big advantage. Now, because we are using a hitch mounted rack on our Jeep Wrangler JL, of course, every Wrangler JL comes from the factory with a backup camera mounted back here in the middle of our spare tire. So that's something to be aware of. If you're gonna install a hitch rack on a Jeep Wrangler JL, as you can see the vertical post of our rack here does sit directly behind the camera. So that is gonna limit some of the visibility from the camera when you're backing up. Not a huge deal, but just something to be aware of. And one of the other things that you may encounter if your Wrangler came with the backup sensor system to alert you of objects behind the Wrangler, well, when you're using a hitch mounted rack that's hanging down below the vehicle, those sensors are gonna pick up the bike rack and alert you that something's behind the Jeep. Again, not really a huge deal, just something to be aware of that when you have your hitch rack installed, you are gonna have that backup sensor beeping at you if your Jeep came equipped with that. But some of the positives that a hitch rack can really offer you are the fact that it is a very convenient solution to install on your Jeep and easily remove later and store away when you don't need to be carrying your bikes with you. It's as simple as installing the rack into the hitch and installing the pin and you're pretty much ready to go ahead and load up your bikes. And that's great if you're not somebody who is going to be needing to carry your bike with you day in and day out. Instead, maybe you're someone who is looking to bring your bikes along for your weekend outdoor adventures it's a great solution to not have to leave something on your Jeep at all times. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it's very easy to load and unload your bikes when you're using a hitch type system. As you can see, we just have a couple straps here we need to remove. We can lift our bike up and off very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and actually set it right over here for the moment. And come back to our hitch rack. Now, if you do want to leave your hitch rack installed on your Jeep, well, you're going to want to look for some features found in certain hitch mounted racks. Our Quadratech bike racks happen to feature a great folding feature. So we can simply remove the locking pin here, drop the bike carrying arms down, reinstall the pin, and actually lock the arms in the down positions. You can see this is a nice compact solution here if you're backing into a garage and you're not gonna worry about coming around the back of your vehicle and running into these mounting arms with them installed. Now, one of the other drawbacks, of course, to using a hitch mounted bike rack is it's going to limit your access to the cargo area of your Wrangler. Now, depending on the rack that you choose, some, like our Quadratech rack here, do have a great feature built in where we can simply pull a pin, drop the upright down, and now we do regain full access to the cargo area of our Jeep. However, of course, we did add a few extra steps to be able to fold this down and gain access. Again, not a huge deal breaker, just something to be aware of that if you're using a hitch mounted system, are you okay with going through, pulling the pin, folding it out of the way, gaining access? 
And if you're not, if you're looking for something maybe a little more permanent that you can put on the back of your Wrangler, say you're someone who likes to bring your bike along maybe day in and day out or multiple times a week, but you don't want to have those hindrances of adding extra steps to gain access to cargo area, well, that's going to bring us to our third and final category of bike racks, and that is using a spare tire mounted bike rack. So as you can see, there's a lot of similarities with a spare tire mounted bike rack as we saw in a hitch mounted bike rack. It puts the, the bike carrying arms at a very convenient height so that it's gonna be easy to load your bike on and load your bike off. Now, one of the things to be aware of using a spare tire mounted versus a hitch mounted, there are gonna be some weight carrying restrictions. So most spare tire bike racks are gonna be limited to carrying two bikes versus a hitch mounted rack where you can carry up to four bikes. As you can see, we've got great folding arms. This happens to be the Yakima Spare Ride bike rack here. And one of the things to be concerned with with this style rack here, as you can see, it actually mounts right here through the center of our spare tire. Now, if you have a Jeep Wrangler JK or a TJ, that's not gonna be a problem. If you have a 2018 or newer Jeep Wrangler JL with that center mounted backup camera, that is gonna be an issue. But that's okay, there are solutions on the market here. So actually, let's go ahead and get this hitch mounted rack out of the way and we can install a spare tire mount that's designed to work with the JL. So as you can see, that was a pretty easy changeover from our hitch rack to our spare tire mounted style bike rack. And this spare tire rack has been specifically designed to work with the 2018 or newer Jeep Wrangler JL featuring the spare tire mounted backup camera. As you can see, it doesn't interfere with the camera in any way here at all. It's gonna give you a clear view from that camera when you're backing up. Now, one of the other nice things about using a spare tire mounted bike rack versus a hitch mounted bike rack, if you've got a newer Wrangler with those backup sensors, well, of course, after you tuck these straps out of the way, there's not gonna be anything down here in the way triggering your backup sensors to an object in its path. Now, that is, of course, when your bike rack is unloaded. Once you have your bikes on here, if the wheels are hanging down, they may still trigger that backup sensor. Again, just something to be aware of. So as you can see, the two different spare tire racks we have here, the one from Allen, this is an over the tire style spare tire mounted bike rack. The other from Yakima that we have here is a through the tire mounted spare tire rack. There are some differences between them. With the Yakima, you're getting a very finished, almost permanent looking accessory for your Wrangler. Now back over here with the Allen, you're getting something that looks like it's a little more of a temporary use. Now, of course, you can leave this installed on your Wrangler. It is gonna stick out from the Jeep back here. There's no folding feature built into this one like the Yakima does have. So as you can see, the Allen is using a nylon webbing strap to hold your bike in the cradle. Yakima is using a slightly different solution here. They actually give you these little plastic lockdowns that's simply ratchet right into place there to secure your bike. One of the other nice features in the Yakima here is you can see we don't just have two cradles on the top, we actually have a third that's designed to lock your bike in here. And once you install that, that's gonna keep the bike from having too much of a rocking motion when you're headed down the road. Of course, you can get those nice and snug and really tighten that up. Now, one of the biggest advantages to using a spare tire mounted bike rack, whether it be an over the tire or a through the tire rack, is this right here. As you can see, we are not limited to our cargo access at all when we're using a spare tire mounted rack with or without having a bike installed on that rack, we've got easy and quick access to the back of our Wrangler without having to take the bike off, without having to go through any folding procedure. And that I think is a huge advantage if you're someone who's going to want to install the bike rack on your Jeep, leave it installed, 
so that it's there and it's ready whenever you want to bring your bike along on your next adventure. Now I think that covers all three major categories of bike racks available for any different Wrangler on the market from the roof mounted to hitch mounted to our last category, the spare tire mounted bike racks. As you can see, there is sure to be a bike carrying solution that will fit perfectly with your Wrangler. Now, if you guys wanna get any more information on any of the bike racks we talked about today, as well as plenty more, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com where you'll find our full line of bike racks available for your Jeep vehicle. If you have any comments or questions about any of the different style of bike racks, you can leave those for us in the comments section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And of course, you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail. <laughs>